Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making Cuban style spaghetti. We are going to season the beef a little differently, but if you give this a try, you are going to love it. I really think you will, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is cook your ground beef. I like to break it up with my fingers, it makes life a lot easier. We want to brown the beef completely. And mine did not release a lot of oil. I used 90% sirloin, it's what I had. You may use whatever you like, of course. Go ahead and add in your onions and peppers. If you have sofrito on hand, you may add some. Sofrito is a mixture of onions, peppers, garlic, cilantro, and olive oil, depending on how you make it. I usually don't make sofrito. I just wait till my grandmother makes a huge batch, and my mom, aunt, and I go with plastic containers, and we take some. True story. All right, go ahead and add in some garlic. You're not going anywhere without garlic, right? Right. Some tomato paste. A bay leaf, oregano, sazon, some cumin, and if you're familiar with Cuban cuisine, you know that bay leaves, cumin, garlic, and oregano are almost mandatory in every dish. Season with salt and pepper, always. Just make sure to season the beef well, and I'll be very happy. Give everything a stir. And now you probably use red wine when cooking with red meat, but since this is Cuban style, we just have to use vino seco, dry white wine. And you know how they always say use a nice expensive wine, something that's pleasant to drink? Well, that doesn't apply to Cuban cuisine because dry white wine is cheap, like a dollar, so... If you could find something more inexpensive, like 50 cents, even better. All right, go ahead and add in some crushed tomatoes. You can use half of a can of crushed and half of a can of diced tomatoes if you like it really chunky, that's optional. I always use fire roasted crushed tomatoes. They're my favorite, I love them. I like to throw in a pinch of sugar to cut the acidity, that is optional. Give everything a good stir. Cover this and lower the heat to low. I cooked this for about 30 minutes. I started boiling the pasta water the minute I covered this, so that can give you an idea of exactly how long I cooked it for. You want to taste for seasoning. Make sure you season well with salt and pepper. It should be very flavorful, definitely not bland city. Remove the bay leaf. Eh, my grandmother never did, I do, sometimes. I throw in some capers. You can throw in some olives instead. Trust me, it's good. You can leave them out if you'd like, but I recommend them. You can use any type of pasta you prefer, except jumbo shells that would be weird I always like to add the pasta in little by little so I have a good balance of pasta and sauce you don't want to add any ton of pasta and then wonder where all the sauce went then you're left with dry pasta and you don't want that go ahead and add in some Parmesan cheese if you like that's optional give everything a stir and then you want to cover this and let it warm up a little bit and be even more flavorful for about 10 minutes In those 10 minutes you can set the table or if you're lucky you have someone already setting it for you while you're cooking maybe some kids kids love to set the table go ahead and serve yourself some of this delicious pasta i added a little bit of extra parmesan cheese on top and this was really amazing it reminded me of my childhood my grandmother always made this i'm not saying this is cuban authentic spaghetti this is just how my grandmother always prepared spaghetti for us for some reason, I remember her spaghetti always being cold, cold but delicious. Her defense is always the same, that she would call me a million times to come and eat and I would never listen. I listen now, that's for sure. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. Don't be afraid of the capers or the olives, throw them in. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and thank you all so much for watching.